All right, guys, we are Team 9, and this is our design project, Militia Minivan. Devin Barney, Alex Prisby, and Tyler Sterling present. And then to start off, the problem given to us is on the city of Sparkyville, which is a popular tourist attraction due to a new golf course and casino strip being added. There's a major transportation issue, and many civilians as well as tourists in the city complain about it very frequently. There's a current taxi business, but it has many negative effects on the city, including an environmental toll from using gas in the tanks as well as a lack of seating, a lack of carrying capacity, and taxis not being handicapped accessible. To go on, given the stakeholder risk we were provided, the target customer, as well as many other customers and stakeholders, can provide certain needs. The mayor was our target customer, seeing as he was the one that contracted us. And then he would like a design that has a lessened environmental impact on the city, is safer to passengers, and has a visual recognition system. In addition, there's also the taxi fleet commissioner that would like a red light running prevention because many of her drivers do run red lights and it has caused some damage to the city as well as to the passengers and civilians. And lastly, there's also a frequent tourist in the city that golfs and he has a lack of carrying capacity in the current taxis and he would like a carrying capacity added to that. All right, and to continue, there's also an abundance of solar energy in Sparkyville which leads to solar energy being the main energy source for our prototype. The benefits of solar energy include having very negative effects on the environment as well as the system around it. It is also very efficient compared to the lack of negative effects that it has. And then lastly, the main safety feature we will use is a red light running prevention, which will use a light sensor in conjunction with the motor. It will provide a constant check and it will stop at red lights and then it will continue to drive at any other color. And then requirements include being able to deliver a passenger to your destination and keeping the budget under $80. All right, to go on, we have more investigation into our background. And to do so, we will form three separate experiments to gain more information. And then for the first experiment, we tested a type of circuit to use within our experiment. And the first one was using parallel versus series versus a parallel series circuit. And based on the three trials that we did for each of them, we found that a series circuit was the best, providing the most voltage and the most current, which would provide the most power to our circuit. To go on, the second experiment we did was testing the type of solar panel that would be best for our circuit. And after testing three separate solar panels, we found that a 110 millimeter by a 135 millimeter solar panel provided the best power, also again, in voltage and current. And then for our third experiment, we tested for gear ratios, and then we found a three-fifths gear ratio. We used a 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50 tooth gears, so that's which gear ratio was the better. And then we found that a three-fifths gear ratio was the best overall, providing the second highest torque and the second highest speed, which would be the best overall, seeing as how like a one-fifth would provide the greatest speed and a four-fifth would provide the greatest torque. And then with all of that, we took the scientific principles of torque and speed into consideration, and then we used the three-fifths gear ratio for design to have the second greatest torque and second greatest speed, which would be the best overall for design. For our designs, we wanted to have six criteria. Fast, lightweight, carrying capacity, pleasing to the eye, seating, and handicap accessible. Our tab this table compares at criteria to criteria, and from here we are able to determine which criteria is the most important for our final design. The first one is based off an 18-wheeler, which would have more than enough carrying capacity. It's not going to be fast because of its huge size, but it will have plenty of seating and carrying capacity as stated before. Our second design was a more common idea. It was based off a minivan. It's not as high storage or seating as the 18-wheeler, but it would have a top area for our sensors and whatever else we needed. Our third design is a more absurd idea. It is based off a swamp boat, which if you don't know what a swamp boat is, don't worry about it. Um, it's not high in capacity, but instead of having to move wheels, the motor would only have to move a fan, which in theory would move the car. The decision matrix is used to compare the criteria we have to the designs. Through the table, we are able to calculate the best design by rating the criteria for each design. For the 18-wheeler, it has the highest carrying capacity, but wasn't very fast or lightweight due to the amount of material that would be used. The minivan 
was well-rounded in most areas, having a higher seating capacity. The Swamp Boat is lightweight due to its small size, and the multi-use of the boat would improve its longevity when the world floods. So this is our final design. Uh, it features a handicap ramp right here in the back. It has a storage shelf for all luggage. It has a light sensor to detect uh, red light to stop when needed. And estimated maximum speed calculated is about five and a half meters per second. This diagram. <laughs> this will show us uh, the automation along with the light sensor and the motor that powers the car by telling it if the light in front of it is red, it'll stay stopped, and if the light is not red, it'll start up the motor and get the car moving. This is our budget. This is a material list depicting all of the pricing of all the materials that we will need for this. Our total uh, outcome will be $86.23. All right, to conclude, our design is the perfect solution for our customer because it meets the target customer needs, um, the mayor, because it uses solar energy, which will lessen the environmental impact on the earth, as well as it'll increase the passenger safety and it'll include visual recognition with the light sensor with the red stop light sensor, as well as it'll meet the additional customer needs with the storage space it includes on top of the shelving and the red light stop detector, which will decrease the amount of red light running from the drivers. And then here are references. <laughs> River.